What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm at my first garage sale of the year unfortunately. Uh, it's June and this is my first one, you know, because of everything that's happening in the world. There's just not a whole lot of them. But I just drove up on this one and I was like, wow, garage sale. I'm stopping. Of course I'm stopping. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot here. And um, I was getting ready to go to a community sale the following day. And I can tell you that was not a very good experience either. I have some footage of that day as well coming up. But over here, I spot something and I'm like, oh, this is good. I thought it was a JVC recorder, DVD recorder that I've sold before for three to 350. Unfortunately, it was a Symphonic um, for $6 a combo unit, not even a recorder. So I ended up passing on that. Over here, there's some shoes and you know, the shoes are okay. Okay prices, but they're not good brands to resell online. So unfortunately I ended up passing on those. There's some Converse there. Um, maybe could have been worth picking up. I think they were the newer pairs. I finally found a yard sale and I found something. Two handheld Yahtzee's a dollar a piece. I've never seen the silver one before. I don't know what that's worth. I usually on Amazon can get about 25, 30 bucks for these. So I'll drive around and see if I can find any more sales. The rain and COVID's just not making it a good day, obviously. So I drove around the whole city and I only ended up finding a couple sales. Both of them, they just weren't that great. Here's a Play 9 game. I'm in Goodwill and this game I've sold a few times in the past. So for $2.99, I know I can make about eight bucks profit on that. So I grabbed that. Down here on the bottom shelf, we've got this Gravedigger Newbright RC car. I thought this was going to be worth something. Not really. About 20 bucks, and it didn't have the remote, so I just ended up passing on that. Just not good enough uh, to pick up, but this, however, is... This is a Ninja Turtles uh, retro from the 80s. A little skateboard thing, um, worth about 20 bucks, so you make some money on that. Selling it on eBay, about $10 profit, probably. And over here, we're just looking at some more toys. The shelf's not that full. Let me know if you see anything I may have missed. There's a McDonald's cash register. Some of the vintage McDonald's toys like that are worth money. Here's another turtle skateboard. I got kind of excited. Unfortunately, I think this is from the newer set, so I ended up leaving it. I was looking around for some of the vintage turtle figures. I could not find any. I was hoping somebody just donated their whole collection. I really, really want a shredder. The, the vintage shredder figure. Unfortunately, I have not come across one of those. Over here though, I spot this Epson Workforce WF11 or 7710. Uh, this is like a wide format industrial size printer. It's got an LPN sticker on it, which means it's been returned. Um, so I was debating whether or not I should pick this up. I was looking at the inside here and everything's taped and kind of sealed. It has not been actually used. I didn't know if it was physically damaged or what and it's like oh this is so heavy i don't know if i want to deal with this looking up the comps i was like all right you know what i guess i'll go ahead and grab this thing so i throw it in the cart and um we take off and i'll show you i'll talk about that at the end of the video but i head over to another goodwill and I find this Superheroes Lego set. It's got some box damage, but I'll be able to make $20 profit on this, no problem. So I go ahead and grab that. And I spot something else over here when I turn around. It's an Astro Boy like bank that lights up, which was pretty cool. I actually wouldn't mind having this. Unfortunately, I noticed right away that the box is empty. And, uh, you know, you can't sell an empty box. Well, some boxes empty you can sell if they're like Nintendo boxes or something that people want the box for. They can, they'll pay up for it. Uh, that is from Loot Crate, so not really. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of other things in this aisle. But the next aisle, I find this tennis racket grip. And just a couple days prior to this, I found a $100 tennis racket at Goodwill. And it needed new grip. And here we are. Thrifting has provided the grip for me for 99 cents, so that's awesome. Definitely can use that. Uh, I don't know what the grip actually costs. Usually I just use like electrical tape and they, I'll just let them re-grip it. But uh, yeah, this is much nicer. Uh, there's some sports cards. I never picked those up. I'm probably missing out at some point. Most of the time they're not worth anything at all. And Goodwill, for some reason, prices sports cards higher. I'm now in another Goodwill. I haven't been in this Goodwill for months, probably close to four or five months. And uh, I spot this little matrix thing. I don't even know what it is. I start to put it back down. I'm like, what am I doing? 
not putting that down. I'm gonna have to I have to research that. I'm not gonna put it down and then <laughs> somebody come pick it up. And yes, I do have a cart. Uh, I don't like to stop the video to go put things in the cart at the end of the aisle. Uh, so I just, you know, kind of hold on to stuff. But yeah, we're looking at the toys here. Let me know again if you see anything. There's a lot to look at. Some learning toys, some random toys, some dinosaurs. Unfortunately, no Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. It's been a while since I found any Jurassic World or Jurassic Park figures. Kind of sad. Um, I was finding them so much, so much. And they just kind of dried up. And yeah, I'm not seeing much in the games either. Go over to the little furniture area they have, hoping to find something. I don't usually flip furniture, but if I can make a decent enough profit. Here's some glass tables, I think they were, for $49. Not interested, but here's some totes, and the price got me. $9.99. I'm like, is there something in these? Uh, no, they are empty. Um, yeah, that gets to the wick thumbs down. Uh, just... $9.99 for a tote is just insane. I usually pick those up for about $1.99. $3 max was what I'll pay for an empty tote at a thrift store. Uh, garage sales, I get them for like $0.99 cents all the time. Um, anyway, <laughs> here is over here one of the sanitizer machines for $24.99. Kind of odd. Maybe they should be using that. Maybe it don't work. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to mess with it though. And then finally, we have this salamander that was by the door. And uh, thought I'd get some footage of him. He was wanting to do some thrift shopping. But unfortunately, um, I tried to get him out of the store, but he just kept running. Here is today's haul, and it's pretty awesome, I think. Got some unique things here. Especially this printer over here, which I guess we can talk about right away. This Epson WF-7710. This is a wide format printer, and it was only $24.99. However, it is a return. You can tell by the LPN sticker here, uh, especially like Amazon uses that. I don't know if all retailers or businesses use that or how that works. I just see it a lot. And of course that makes me nervous. Why was it returned? It could also just be sometimes like if this went to Amazon and it got damaged, the box got damaged, maybe it got sent back to the seller. Um, probably not the case. It's probably just a business and they just decided to donate it. However, everything's taped down in there and everything seems to be new. The paperwork, the ink still sealed. So really, I don't know if it, maybe it has a crack in it. Maybe it got damaged. I'll have to take it out, inspect it. Uh, I still have seven days to return it, but I figured I'd just go ahead and grab it because it looks like I can sell this thing open box for about $250, $300. It is big. It is about 40 pounds. However, shipping this FedEx and doing calculated shipping, um, Somebody will pay probably between $40 and $60 to have it shipped. I'll price it maybe like $225 or something like that. Maybe even higher. I just have to do a bit more research. But anyway, since the profit was so great on that, I decided to pick it up. Uh, if I would only make like $50, it wouldn't be worth my time. But when I can make maybe $150, $200, uh, I'll deal with it. I don't mind shipping large things. And then over here, let's look at what we got. I got something at Salvation Army. Been like three months, I think. <laughs> But uh, it's a Samsonite little luggage case thing. It was $4.99. It's in really good condition except the piece is off here. But it's in the case so uh, someone wanted to put a little bolt or screw in there they could. Uh, it doesn't have the key but I saw one sell for about $40 plus shipping that didn't have the key as well. So I figured you know what this is something I don't usually buy. So I'll give it a shot. Also the one that sold didn't have the plastic thing in there. I'll probably list this for $39.99. We'll see how it goes. Then right here, we got some car repair manuals. This one's brand new. The others are in pretty good condition. Average, I think about $10 a piece profit. Uh, this one I'll make a bit more. These I'll make a bit less. But in the end, about $30 profit between the three. They'll ship media mail. I actually didn't check Amazon. I might check Amazon for the new one here. Uh, the reason I didn't check Amazon is because book fees like are so high and these were a dollar twenty so I mean they're not that expensive but it would be like eight or nine dollars uh, fees plus I have to ship them into Amazon books are, are really high to sell right now so if you don't have books that are you know higher it's not really worth it like eBay they move fine so we'll get them sold on eBay I picked up these Sperry's another pair of Sperry's I think I just got some a few days ago they were in a video I got these because well they're pretty much unworn I think 4.99 you can see there 
thought they looked pretty basic, but I went ahead and done a search. I saw that they were selling quite well, this particular model, for, well, about $50 new. So I figure if, if they're selling for that new, I can sell this for about $30 plus shipping or something like that. So we'll make some money on that. I also picked up this Turning Technologies QT2. I don't even really know what it is, to be honest, but it was 99 cents. I looked it up, of course. And I was shocked because I saw some solds for about $400. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Then I noticed that they were for like 20 or 30 of these things. There were a lot of them. So apparently some businesses use them. I think they might be something for like PowerPoint maybe. Uh, but one, you know, I might be able to get like $17. So we'll make about $10 profit on this in the end. And then I saw this. I was like, hey, that's got to be worth something if it's sealed. It was, they are cartridge packs for the Clean and Renew Brawn Razors, electric razors. So $3.99, uh, these sell it for about $40 to $45. This has a little bit of box damage, but it is sealed. So again, we'll make some money on that. And then there's this. I think this is for a guitar or some sort of instrument. Again, I don't know what it is. I don't have to know what it is. All I need to know is that model number. And I look at the solds on eBay and see that they're selling for about $25. Bucks. So <laughs> for $3.99, no ship first class. Went and picked that up. Thought this was cool as well. I don't find lunch boxes or anything like that. Has the thermos in there and everything is in really good condition. I don't know how old it is because there's no date. But I did see on Amazon the thermos that's in there was selling for about 20. I believe they had just this listed. There was only like one person. And I think they wanted like $48 for it. So I might just price this at $49.99 just to see if it sells. If not, I'll just lower it after a while. And then right here we have this HP LaserJet 53X. I came into a Goodwill and saw a reseller in there. And this was just sitting right beside him. And I didn't seem to have any interest in it. Uh, I picked it up for $12.99. And uh, I'll sell it for about $100. Bucks. I saw one sell. Uh, there were some selling for like $35. But there were some selling in the 70s, 80s, and 90s um, up to $100. So I always price this kind of ink high and usually like some ink place in California buys it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do that. And then we got some tapes. I don't see these too often, but this, the Goodwill I got these at, I almost always find tapes there for some reason. It's weird. It's like all the other Goodwills I go to maybe send these to be put online or something, but this Goodwill just doesn't care. I don't know. Either way, there's Sony 8mm and Max L 8mm and I don't know what they're selling for right now. But I used to sell like four of these for about 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon and these I actually have some loose ones. I pick them up when I see them and then I, I sell them in lots because you get more money that way. Uh, so I know I have at least a couple of these in storage so we'll make some nice lots and I just bought these for uh, VHSC like recorders that I you know, need to test or something. Always great to find a blank media. And what is this? Barney VHS? <laughs> I figured I'd go ahead and give this a try. Uh, I was looking at the VHS. I've been paying a lot more attention to VHS. And I know Barney has some success. You don't get a lot of money for it. But the, the, the way you sell it is in lots. Because if you sell them individually, then they sell for like $7.95 shipped. It's not worth the hassle. And I thought all these were 99 cents. Somehow these these were priced $1.99. I didn't notice. I might not have got them. But either way, I got $10 into these. I'll probably price them at $40. They'll ship media mail. Quite cheap. So I went ahead, picked them up. We'll give it a shot. It's not going to be the easiest thing to deal with because i got to get those stickers off. Hopefully the hair dryer takes them off quite nicely. Sometimes when they're stuck to plastic like that, the hair dryer kind of seals them on there more. But that is it for the video, everybody. A great haul today. It was amazing being out, hitting some yard sales, going and hitting some Goodwills. Started off rainy and miserable. The weather's cleared up. If you could, on the way out, hit that like button for me. Be subscribed if you enjoy this video and want to watch more. You can find me on Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.